one, uh, we don't, I don't have many pictures from when I was young. Uh, I don't really know why uh, my mother didn't really take that many pictures of us. Uh, this was a picture from my school. I think I was uh, in kindergarten, maybe five years old. And, uh, you know, I was some smiling there because I was a pretty happy kid, uh, really active. Uh, I knew that we didn't have much money. Uh, my father wasn't there, but, you know, I was, I was still, still a happy kid. Yeah, that was a, a picture of me my sophomore year. And uh, as you can see in the picture, I don't look very happy. Uh, I didn't enjoy photo shoots then. I didn't enjoy interviews, and mainly because of uh, me being such an underrated player. Uh, a lot of my interviews were about other players that would rank higher than me, but I outplayed those guys. And uh, you know, that was, you know, that's really about it. I just, I enjoyed playing basketball, but I didn't really enjoy the other things that came with it because of my uh, being underrated state. Yeah, um, in junior college, uh, at first, when I heard I had to go to junior college, I was disappointed because I didn't qualify for NCAA. But uh, when I got there, you know, it was it was a great experience. Uh, I was happy. I realized there was a lot of kids who grew up without me. I mean, just like I did, grew up in you know, uh, you know lower class uh, neighborhoods. But basically, just trying to get a second chance. That's what uh, junior college is. So. I just uh, took full advantage of it, and that was just a quick picture of me and one of my teammates. And, you know, that, that's about it. Uh, that was just a uh, media day um, before my freshman season. Uh, you know, I was really confident, uh, just ready to get ready to get through the photo shoot, ready for you know the actual season to start. So uh, I was pretty excited and just ready for my new journey, which was uh, playing at Central Florida Community College. Yeah, that was, uh, that was, I was just basically playing defense. I was on the ball at the time because we ran like a full court press. Uh, and uh, we usually ran it when we were, when it was a pretty close game at the end, trying to force the team to get a turnover. And it was my job to, you know, force that, try to force that turnover. So, uh, you know, I was just, dialed in, trying to make sure I just, you know, help get a stop so uh, we can come out with the win. And I, I believe that was my sophomore year. Um, yeah, I don't have that stuff. I need that stuff. What number did you have and how'd you like to Yeah, I, I, had, uh, I had number 10. Uh, I chose that number because it was, my mother was born on April 10th and uh, they didn't have 20. Same thing with my JUCO. I, I always end up having to get different numbers than I actually wanted because they're either, they're usually retired. Uh, I guess number 20 is a pretty popular number, but yeah, they was selling our jerseys and selling cards and you know, it's pretty cool to have fans actually purchase things with your name on it. And that's actually stuff that I don't even have myself. So I'm looking for it. <laughs> um, I don't remember the picture exactly, but I know it's from my senior year and by my demeanor and on myself, I'm pretty sure I was like questioning a call by the referee or maybe a missed call. So I, I can tell him probably just like, come on, like that's, that's not a foul, something like that. Um, yeah, that's two more uh, action photos. Um, the one on the left is a home game. I think that we had one of the best crowds. Uh, you know, in the NCAA, and the one on the right was our big rivalry game with uh, Illinois. It's called the Brack and Rights game, and we won both of those games. That's just me being, uh, you know, playing, being very passionate uh, about the sport and, uh, you know, trying to help lead my team to victory. Yeah, um, that was my, my first camp, uh, called the Cardo Camp. I guess the name is kind of corny, but I thought it had a nice ring to it at the time, but uh, you know, I just did a, a free basketball camp for uh, elementary to middle school, and uh, the reason I did it for free is because when I grew up, I know I, I couldn't afford it, so I decided to do it for free just in case it's kids who grew up like the way that I did, and uh, you know, it, it was a great turnout. Kids worked hard, and I was very proud of them. Yeah, that was um, actually just a workout I had uh, with the Indiana Pacers. Um, workout went really great. Um, 
you know, throughout my college career, I was always projected to go second round. So on the draft night, I was I was expecting to get my name called, but uh, I didn't. And uh, you know, that's how I ended up here. And so, uh, you know, everything happens for a reason. But you know, I did attend workouts. I, mean, I think it was eight of them with the NBA. But uh, you know, ultimately, I chose to you know come here and stay here after having uh, you know. A, a such a successful start to my professional career.